everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge and welcome to this uh, TBR for the Kindle Clear Out Readathon, which is created by my wonderful, lovely friend Brie over at In Love and Words and will be co-hosted by some more friends of mine from the Romance Booktuber community um, whose links I will have all down below. But I just, it's crazy how friends' minds work because I had no idea that this was being put together. Um, but I had been thinking of doing a like either like a 24 hour reading sprints or like a weekend where I got through specifically some eARCs that I have, which I've actually kept up pretty good with them. I only have four that I need to get done and none of them come out in September. They're all in November, December, so I'm feeling good about them. But I do have quite a few old Kindle purchases where I would buy them where they were free or just like a couple dollars and then they just end up getting stacked up in my Kindle library so much so that I actually created a um, collection that's old TBR and new TBR because there's ones on my TBR where they just like keep sitting there bothering me so I have a like current TBR on my Kindle where there are books that I'm really excited to get to and then there's ones that I buy them when there are a deal and then if my brain just doesn't want any of the choices I have I'll go for them so that is going to be the fun part about this is trying to get through all of these so there's this beautiful I'll show their artwork up here obviously this is like the announcement sheet um, a lot of these that I'm gonna be showing up if you follow the hosts for this you can find these templates it's mostly gonna be done on Instagram um, and so you can follow that I'll show you my bingo board that I made because I like to have things physically as well as on my phone which will just my art is not good like I have people who always want me to show my like planner because I use this really pretty bookish planner from inkling what's it called like inkling designs or something but I just have no talent like I always start out wanting to write something beautiful and then it ends up looking like chicken scratch and it's just kind of embarrassing but anyway here's the details of this readathon I don't need to go into a ramble for this I'm gonna try to keep this concise and share my TBR with you and hopefully get you excited about this if you're someone who has a Kindle um, or ebooks or you review lots of books um, it's just something to help clear out that space for you and you know help you feel accomplished so it goes from September 28th until October 4th and there is a beautiful prompt list there's 12 prompts about half of them are actual like book prompts and the other half are like social prompts or task related which I think is really fun because you don't have to read a ton of books for this maybe you don't have a huge backlist like I do but you know you want to just be productive and you know do a readathon. I love readathons now. I it's so funny because at the beginning of the year I said I wanted to do two readathons for the whole year and that would be like all I would get done. Well, since COVID has hit, readathons have been my like favorite thing to do, especially when they're very broad like this. Um, I'm not great at like you have to read these certain books but this is so broad because it's so individual to you and so that makes me really excited so let's go ahead and go through these prompts and then I will tell you what my TBR for it is and how it hits everything so like I said there's this beautiful TBR board that um, they've created all the art for this is amazing this is why I love my talented friends who know how to use stuff and so I made a like laughably matching one that I just made here and what I actually did which is cute because there's gonna be prizes for your bingo boards and if you watch Bree's video like I'm gonna link these people down below you really you can get a bingo this way this way you can go this way this way. like basically if you just get three in a row in like any way um, or you black the whole thing out you're going to submit your card at the end of it and then there's a chance to win like four different prizes there's sticker sheets there is um i think there's a book sleeve there's just a whole bunch of different prizes 
um, that you can win if you turn it in at the end, which I think is really fun. And what I'm doing is, so I made this, and then I made a square in each corner, and as I do it, see, I already have one that's done, because one of these is to follow or subscribe to all of the hosts, and I did that. And see, I've actually bought stickers from Bree's shop before, so she has a shop on Etsy, and so I'm using like the little hearts and kisses and stuff to like check the box. So I already follow all of them, so I can put this here. And then after I get this video posted, I can put one on post your TBR. So I'll do that, and so that's how I'm gonna keep track, as well as I'll have one running on my social media so people can see. So let's go over the prompts just real quick, and then I'll tell you what my stuff is. So there's read an e-arc, vlog your reading, um, read a black indigenous person of color, uh, one by a diverse author, um, post a TBR, disability rep, post a wrap up, oldest ebook, attend the live show, shortest ebook, follow and subscribe to all the hosts, your newest ebook, and post a review. So those are the 12 prompts that are on here. And now I'm gonna go over the ones that have to do with a book. The ones that don't, I'm going to do a vlog. I only do those for like special occasions now because I read so much that I don't really like film stuff for that anymore. Um, I will of course post a wrap up when it's done. That'll be awesome. And I'll attend the live show. And then I plan to post quite a few reviews because I have a lot of arcs. Well, not a lot, but I have some arcs that I need to read. So I think this shouldn't be any problem at all. I'm gonna go for blackout. However, there is one prompt, which I'll get to in a minute, that I don't currently have anything on my Kindle that fits this from what I know. So it's kind of gonna be my like bonus one. Um, and that's disability rep. I don't currently have anything on my Kindle that has that. Um, I definitely have read books with that before. I think, you know, that's really important to some of our hosts who are hosting because they have um, chronic illness in their lives or have it themselves. And so I really love that that is in this. It's just that I don't usually have those on my Kindle. So I may need to add one for that. And so we'll see, I have quite a list, but I mean, you guys know how many books I can read in a week. Well, maybe you don't. I can read 12 to 15 books in a week. So it probably shouldn't be a big deal at all to add one more to it. So I have um, seven books on my list currently, and they hit all of the prompts except the disability rep, like I said. So let's go through these. So um, starting with what is the uh, oldest ebook on my Kindle. So I actually have two that I bought the same day. They were both zero dollars when I bought them. And that is Some Sort of Crazy by Melanie Harlow. Um, I've read the first one in this series already. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and this is on Kindle, not Kindle Unlimited. I bought it. Um, this is on Audible Escape currently. We only have Audible Escape until November 1st currently. We don't know which romance titles will actually switch over to Audible Plus um, or whatever it's going to be called, but I was able to find some sort of crazy on there. I also found The Negotiator by Avery Flynn, which is the one that I bought the same day. I bought it the same day as some sort of crazy, so I put them both on here since they're both oldest, and both of those were on Audible Escape, so I obviously want to have some to listen to on that list, so I went ahead and grabbed both of those, and those will be my audiobooks during the week. Then for a uh, author of color, I have Big Ben by Nana Malone. Nana Malone is black. Um, and I didn't buy this one too long ago and I've heard really good things about it from both Katie Robert and the Faded Mates podcast has talked about it too. I think I, what I, from what I've heard, this is a heist novel um, and he's like trying to get revenge. So it kind of made me think of Leverage I don't know if you've um, heard of that show before, but it kind of made me think of like Elliot, the guy on the cover, and I really love Leverage, so I thought this could be fun. Um, then the newest Audible or book, and so I'm going as of as of today that I'm filming this because I will probably pick up more books before then, but I figured I'd go with what's on this like what currently on my Kindle is the newest one. And that is Once a Promise by Pam Godwin. Um, I am trying to get through Pam's backlist because I do have quite a few of Pam's books that I have not 
read yet and I think that's a travesty because she's one of my favorite um, self-published authors and so I had recently just purchased that one um, then I have three e arcs okay so that'll fill my e my e arcs I have the princess on the rogue by Kate Bateman um, and then I have The Duke's Princess Bride by Emily Howard. I was so happy to get the, um, to get this one and I really want to do it for this readathon. I want to get through all of these. And then the last one I just got accepted for, this is an instant approve. I try to tell people when there's instant approves on NetGalley because if you're someone who's new to NetGalley and so you don't have a rating that's really high yet, um, it's really helpful to find the ones that are instant approvals so that you can read and review those and get your percentage up. Um, I know that was really important to me in the beginning. So this one was called Love and Other Disasters by Terry Jones. So on NetGalley, that is currently an instant approve. So yeah, so all those three I just said, those are eARCs and I plan to do reviews for them. So then based on our board, that should cover everything for me if I do all of the things and cover all the books. Disability rep is the only one that I don't think any of these had it. That's a thing too. Maybe you don't know that there's disability rep in the book beforehand if it's not like, because I don't read too many reviews for books ahead of time. So even if it's going to be like a warning or like a t to tell you, I don't know. Um, but I'm excited to see the TBRs for Brie and Steph and Avery and Witty Reads, I think are the other hosts and see if maybe there's one I'd be willing to pick up because seven books in a seven day period is definitely doable for me. In fact, I'll probably get through a lot more than that. Um, so that is my plan. So there you go. Um, this readathon, like I said, it starts September 28th, which should just be a couple days from now. Um, I think this could be really, really fun for everyone. Even if you're not a booktuber, like you don't wanna vlog or you wanna be able to do that, there's still opportunities for you to get bingos and enter for some of those prizes and Brie has lovingly put this together with her and her collaborators and it's going to be so well run like it makes me so jealous how well she put it together but also really excited to be friends with someone who's that talented and is able to cultivate relationships like that in book too it's awesome so there you go please check out this readathon if you're interested and be aware for some content for some ebook content it's gonna be really fun thanks so much for watching i put up new videos three to four times a week and you can watch more of them right now bye